Hi, this is Greg Ogawa from my show and today my special guest is... I'm LJ from Seven Dust. So LJ, uh, let's talk about your ongoing tour. What do we have going on right now? Because I know you guys are on tour and all that. Yeah, we have uh, the Hard Drive Tour, which is really fun. Uh, we have a new revolution out with us 10 years and, uh, since October. And it's, uh, it's probably been going on for about two weeks and we've been hitting it hard every night. Where do you stand right now? And when you start? It's been a long time. How'd you get to this point? How difficult was it to come all the way up here? It's, man, I tell you what, I'm 30, I just turned 38 October 3rd, and we signed a record deal when I was 21 years old. Uh, so it's been, really, it's been a long time. We've kind of grown up in this industry, traveling the world and meeting people. It's amazing, man, and I don't know how blessed we are to still be relevant to this day, and I, you know, we thank everybody out there for that. Yeah, that's that's pretty much true. Do enjoy traveling. Yeah, yeah you know, definitely. Yeah. You know, we miss the families and stuff, but this is what we do. This is innocent. Yeah. I think this was uh, in each of our DNA, in a sense, when we were born. And this is something that we have to do, or it would be weird if we did. What was the most memorable band you enjoyed to tour with? You know, I, I, a lot of the tours are the, the best for me. I just I love being out there. But uh, I tell you, a band like Skunk and Nancy. Uh, from uh, overseas in Europe to go out on tour with them and we went over there to Europe with them and it was like being with the Beatles they were so big kids were in line for like three days camping out and I'd never seen anything like that before that well why don't we take it right now to wait and let's see what people has to ask you all right man right on thanks Greta I'm here with Scream and Scott if you had one thing to ask Seven Dust what would it be the question I would like to ask is uh, Seven Dust how would you describe success in the music industry I define success. I really, I never try to define success because I think being relevant, I think the realness and having a true brotherhood and a true organization of people that love you and want to see you succeed, that's when you have success. What are your guys' hobbies? Like, what do you do in your free time? Uh, ride motorcycles. You know, I have a lot of old albums and stuff that I, I, I they tell me that I'm a collector of odd things, but I think it's cool. So, uh, yeah, some of us ride dirt bikes, I ride horses, you know, just, I'm a country boy, yeah. I'd like to know if they'd tell us something they'd want other people to know about them. I don't know that I feel very blessed to be in the position that I am, to be able to be in the music industry and for people to come out and uh, feel passionate about what we do. Um, I would never take it for granted if that's something that, you know, people want to know. Uh, I love what I do and it's been cool. Thank you very much. What's the strangest venue or gig you guys have ever played at? Strangest, but it was beautiful. We played last night, actually, the first time in Pittsburgh at a place called The Altar, and it was a church from the 1920s, and it was very beautiful. Not, I, I don't know how strange. It was a little odd, but it was very cool. I know you guys filmed a video with uh, Falcons. Falcons on top. We'll see up. Yep. And then I saw those girls. I'm like, the, it, was oh. 12, it was 12 of the Falcons cheerleaders, and that was really cool. There were some pretty serious ladies. It was cool. The wife was there, and she was keeping an eye on everything, so it was awesome. Yeah. It was, no, but they, really nice professional women, and it was a pleasure to, uh, to work with everybody. All right. Well, I guess that should do it. Well, thank you very much. Thanks for doing this for me. It's a pleasure.